it lovely okay hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm actually back with a little day in the life video haven't read on one of these in a while but i asked on instagram what you guys wanted to see and lots of people said like a day in the life of a business owner um or just like a day in the life in general so i thought i'd do one of those today uh it's currently like 10 o'clock <laughs> i've recently woken up do you know what my dad woke up i had the weirdest dream last night it was so random and then my dad like knocked on my door and woke me up because he went to go and get his vaccine which is good um and yeah i'm just kind of like confused um but yeah today is quite a busy day i've got a bulk order arriving for nude at nine so i'll show you guys that arriving and that kind of thing um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up if you do subscribe down below for more follow me on instagram and yeah without further ado let's just get on with the video lol look how cozy i look <laughs> um so i'm currently actually talking to manufacturers for nude at nine basically they're not in the uk so whenever they're awake i'm not awake and whenever i'm awake they're not awake if that makes sense so it's really hard to like negotiate with them a few days ago i actually ordered one sample actually no two samples i ordered two samples of like one design uh different colors and then today i'm just about to pay for another little sample which is so nice like, i can't even believe how nice these things are um things for nude at nine again actually really really good so yeah um that is what i need to start off my morning by doing paying a blooming invoice um so then that can get started because obviously these samples do take quite a long time to come because they're not from the uk um so yeah i need to pay for that invoice and then i'm gonna go get some breakfast hello oh you're ignoring everyone today Mm, mood. Okay, for breakfast, I'm just going to make a boiled egg on toast. I only fancy one today because I'm not actually that hungry in the mornings. If you know me, like at the moment, I'm just not eating a lot because it just makes me feel sick. But yeah, I'm going to have a boiled egg on toast now. What do you think you're getting? Why are you watching me? Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Poor. Oh, such a good boy, aren't you? You're showing off. Yeah, showing everyone your skills. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey Google, turn it up. Full volume. This is a tune, people. An actual tune. <laughs> Yes, to that yoke, look how good that looks. Oh, this is like my favorite breakfast ever, honestly, it's so good. Okay, so I'm now somewhat ready. I don't really know what's going on with my hair. I'll probably end up pinning it up anyway. Does anyone else get so bored of their hair? Like, I have it down for a bit, but then I have to put it up because it just gets on my nerves. Um, either way, I'm in my office now. I don't think you guys ever, like, properly seen this office. Apart from the tour that I put up, then I took it down because I just wasn't vibing with it. Um, I need to tidy it up first, then I'll probably show you guys. But yeah, I'm in my office at the moment. My bulk order isn't arriving until... I think between half one and half two and it's now half twelve so I've got like an hour, probably more than that. Um, so I'm going to get some vinyl printed off ready to print onto the hoodies and the t-shirts and the caps. Um, first of all I'm going to print off all the invoices that I need. Um, if you guys want to know I actually use Big Cartel to host my website and they are so so good I'd highly recommend. I pay like £10 a month or something but they're so so good. It's so easy to like print invoices, keep track of orders and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Now I'm just going to print off the invoices, get some vinyl printed, and then we are ready to print onto the hoodies. Uh, my mum is actually the one that does all the printing, and I don't know if she's going to do it today or tomorrow, because obviously she's got things to do as well. Um, but yeah. Do you know what? I really hate having my hair down. I never wear my hair down anymore. If you like see my Instagram and stuff, my hair is always up. Just because I just don't like it. I need to get my hair cut. As soon as the hairdressers are back open, it's April the 12th, whenever that is, um, I'm getting my hair done. I just can't stand my hair at the moment. Um, but yeah. Basically, I've printed off the invoices that I can do when this bulk order arrives. So basically, I order in bulk. Everything is on a pre-order basis, so I only order what I sell, um, which works really well for, like, a small startup company. Um, so these are all the orders from the past, like, couple of days, which I can get out as soon as the bulk order comes. I honestly think some people think that you need stacks and stacks and stacks of money to start a business, and people ask me all the time, like, 
how much money did you put into your business to start with blah 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 uh honestly like nothing um the only money that you kind of need is for things like packaging um business flyers that kind of thing um but in terms of clothing i didn't put any money into that because basically as i said everything is on a pre-order basis so um i got samples obviously i bought them um and then everything is on pre-order so i only buy what i sell and it works really really well i'd highly recommend um because obviously now that i've built up a following a bit and obviously i've got customers now um, and people are coming back which so grateful for um i can afford now to obviously have stock and um have things ready to go out straight away so i would really recommend that start on like a pre-order basis and then as soon as your company grows a little bit and you have more money um and then start buying in bulk because there's no point in buying like a shit ton of stock if you don't know you're going to sell it that was my risk and that was why i did not want to do that um so yeah definitely get things on like a pre-order basis and then see where you go from there but this works really really well for me um and i'm going to do it for my next collection as well my next collection is coming out march 28th and it's so so nice um and that's probably going to be the last one which is kind of pre-order because after that um as you would have seen earlier i was ordering some samples from manufacturers so that'll all be coming in bulk um but yeah I need to put all these invoices into date order, obviously oldest first, and then I'm gonna start printing the vinyl off. And then, yeah. Oh, let me show you a sneak peek of my new collection. Hold on. I'm so happy with how these look. This one is actually black on black. It's probably gonna be a bit hard to see, but in real life, it's so, so vibey. There we go. It's so nice. Um, these are the t-shirts. Obviously, I'm gonna have hoodies as well, but um, I need to get some more hoodies to have a go on. But yeah, I'm so excited for these. So 28th of March, people, 28th of March. Um, a little package has just arrived for me. So I've actually got 200 postage bags. I normally order them in like 100, but my pack of 100 literally went in like a week. And I was like, why the hell has that gone? So I got 200. Um, I think this cost me about 20 pounds, something like that. Um, I do really want to get some like biodegradable ones. But honestly, guys, I've had a look and they're like 100 pound for a hundred and that just sounds ridiculous like so expensive so if you guys know of anywhere where i can get like biodegradable ones for cheaper let me know um but yeah i tend to just get these from like amazon um but yeah does the job so i've got some package bags there so the bulk order has just arrived thank god oh my god got my scissors um so yeah let's open this bad boy okay so i thought i'd give you guys a little update so these have actually just been printed all of these um so then i just put them on my floor don't worry it's hoovered on my floor and then i'm just gonna go ahead and fold these all now and put labels in them and then obviously i can pack them and send them off but yeah i actually had so many of this color this time normally um everyone goes towards the lighter color but look little saint lawrence over here So these are the ones that we actually printed today so what i like to do is fold them all up as you guys saw put labels on them uh, and then just stack them up in piles based on size and then i can literally just get the invoice pick and grab um so yeah so many of this color sold it's so weird normally it's literally the redo it color which is the lighter one over the dark one like so badly and it's so like obvious but now look there's literally so many of these ones um but yeah we have some more to print tomorrow but we just did these for now because it's quite a long process but yeah look how cute they are Okay, so it's a little bit later now. It's literally like half past four. I finished packing all of the orders that I can do and now I am so tired. Like, I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm literally wrecked. Um, I'm just sat here drinking my Lucasade, which is so nice. 
Um, but yeah, I literally just need to put them onto the system now. Basically, I have to go into Hermes and like book each of them in, which is such a long task. Like, it's probably my least favourite task out of everything. It's just really like, what's the word? Like tedious. Like, I just hate doing it. And there's one that's going to America as well. My first ever American order, which is insane. Um, so I need to put those on the system later. But I'm just going to chill for a bit, I think. I really do need to tidy my room, but I'm just not here for it at the moment. Like, no. Um... And then later I'm actually going to order some food, but I don't know, ooh, I don't know where from at the moment though, probably on like delivery or something, but I just don't know what to get. Um, but yeah, for now I'm just going to chill and might have a nap, you know. Okay, now I'm just ordering bits for our new nice shoot, which is happening on March the 13th. I'm so excited. I've got some models ready, so I need to order all of their things, which is so exciting um so yeah just doing that now i'm actually really excited to have like other people modeling the clothes on unit nine because even though i'm on like youtube and instagram and stuff like i prefer i don't know i just feel like i'm not really like a model material to model the clothes do you know what i mean so i prefer other people to do it and getting like getting, like three people that i've never met before on the site is actually so exciting so i'm really excited to do that shoot as I said, that's happening on March the 13th and Georgia, my friend, is also coming as well to, like, help. But she's actually going to, like, run the photo shoot because she's good at that stuff. Like, I'm not really, like, one to tell people what to do, do you know what I mean? But she is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm ordering the stuff now and then I'm going to order some food. I keep thinking about food, but I just need to get stuff done first. Like, I need to get stuff done and then I can order food. Now I'm just putting the labels onto the parcels. This is like the longest thing ever. I'm so glad that they're printed though because I hate printing them out. It is such a long process. But yeah, now I'm just going to attach all the labels to the parcels and then my food should be arriving. I'm so excited. I've ordered from an Italian and I'm buzzing. <laughs> Oh my god how good does this look so i literally got carbonara and i also got some i also got some bruschetta as well which looks so amazing this is from like an italian place near my house i think it's in like someone's house i'm not too sure but this literally looks so good i'm so excited to eat this i just look great don't i um i haven't vlogged in ages it's literally like 10 o'clock now i'm watching vampire diaries on netflix and i thought i'd just end the video here because there's nothing else to talk about because I'm tired and I'm going to bed. I actually feel really sick again. I've spoken about this before, like I keep feeling really, really sick and I don't know why. I've cut out coffee at the moment because I have a feeling it could be like caffeine related. Like I really don't know. Um, I did kind of think it was like dairy related to begin with, but I don't think it is dairy. I think it's like caffeine. Um, but yeah. I'm so tired, so I'm going to finish the video here. I don't even know how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be like two minutes long, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a day in my life. Um, I'm trying to get back into filming more, so if you guys have any like video suggestions, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, subscribe down below for more. Go and check out my business, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another brand new video. Bye, guys.